You're not living up to your potential. And you say that to yourself too, you know, when you wake up at night and you're guilty. I'm not living up to my potential. And you don't feel good about that. And you think, well, there's potential around you that you're not exploiting. You know, and you feel bad about that too. And you should. And so it's a good source of guilt and shame. Not enough to crush you maybe, but enough to wake you up. And it's certainly not something you hope for for the people that you love. Ah, it's okay. You're wasting your potential. It doesn't matter. It's like no one says that. And so what, we're contending with potential. And we know that because we wake up in the morning and poof, we're awake. Like the sun has risen again. We're awake. And we confront the world. And what do we confront? We confront the possibilities, the potential, and the horror of the day. Here's the things we could do. Here's the things that could go bad. Here's how we could make things go better. And you know what that is. It's usually, uh, there's three or four things that I need to do today that I'd rather avoid. But I better do them because if I don't do them, the world will be a worse place by six o'clock tonight. Right? And that's a funny thing because the world isn't like that yet. It isn't made like that yet. It won't be made like that until you make it. And you might think, well, here's some things I can do that would be good that would actually make the world a better place by six o'clock tonight. Take some effort, you know, and, and the willingness and some aim, but you could do that. You could make it slightly better than it was and certainly slightly less worse than it could be.